This is another sign of the times, an analysis and a commentary. Arctic Report Card, 2012. Arctic glaciers retreated at record levels in 2012, while summer snow melted in the region much more rapidly than it has in the past. According to a new report by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the findings presented at the annual meeting of the American Geophysical Union are part of the annual Arctic Report Card, which was assembled by more than 140 scientists to assess the state of the North Pole. The report found that Greenland's Arctic sea ice and glaciers were melting at a record rate and that sea level rise has accelerated in the region. That has caused a population boom and lower level organisms such as plankton, but has disrupted the life cycles of many animals, ranging from polar bears and lemmings to the Arctic fox. But the impacts of the warming Arctic may reach beyond the northern latitudes, said the NOAA chief. What happens in the Arctic doesn't always stay in the Arctic. We're seeing Arctic changes in the ocean and the atmosphere that affect weather patterns elsewhere, the chief said. In 2012, Greenland saw the warmest summer in 170 years, said Jason E. Box of the Bird Polar Research Center. In September sea ice extent, the area of water with at least 15% sea ice throughout the Arctic is the lowest on record, which dates to 1979, beating the previous record set in just 2007. Melting of the Greenland ice sheet also beat previous records set in 2010, with almost the entire sheet melting by mid-July, Box said. The 40 largest glaciers lost an area about twice that of the previous decade average, he said. Extensive surface melting was documented for the first time at the highest elevations of the ice sheet. That's contributing to fast rising seas and warmer ocean waters. In addition, the higher melting has reduced the reflectivity of the ice surface, causing land areas to absorb more heat, which causes more melt in a self-reinforcing cycle. The feedback loop Summer snowmelt in the northern hemisphere also accelerated further decreasing the reflectivity of the land as snow reflects more sunlight back to space than exposed land and causing the land to trap more heat in a positive feedback cycle. All this warming has caused a change in the organisms that live in the north, said Martin Jeffries, a geophysicist at the University of Alaska and an editor of the report card. Unexpectedly, large phytoplankton blooms have been observed this summertime, Jeffrey said. Prior estimates of how much plankton was blooming may have been 10 times too low, he added. In areas near melting sea ice, the tundra's permafrost, our permanently frozen soil, is also greening but for longer summer season and warmer summers. Permafrost temperatures 66 feet below the surface were the highest on record at 8 of 10 observatories in Alaska and matched the 2011 records at two sites. That soil warming is affecting some of the iconic species of the Arctic, such as the lemmings or small rodents whose life cycles are getting more chaotic and unpredictable. Warming weather has also increased pressure on the Arctic fox, which relies on the lemming as its main food source. The larger red fox has been expanding its range northward, leading to competition with the Arctic fox for food and resources. These changes could impact other areas. We know that melting ice in Greenland can contribute to sea level rise around the world and many of the biological changes we are seeing 
around the world affect systems elsewhere like migratory birds and rising sea levels may have contributed to record surge heights along the U.S. coastline during Hurricane Sandy. This is also another sign of the end of times as we know them, transition days, which is a time of extraordinary changes, happenings, and events. Because, again, it's about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations? And that should be a very important question to ask. Revelation chapter 15 And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. 2. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. 3. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. 4. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name, for thou only are holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. 5. And after that I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. 6. And the seven angels came out of the temple, having the seven plagues, clothed in pure and white linen, and having their breasts girded with golden girdles. 7. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials, full of the wrath of God, who lives for ever and ever. 8. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and no human was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. Yes, everything is connected, and everything is numbered, and these are more physical manifestations of the book of Revelation.